Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, yo we got yo we got uh, Fetty Luciano man getting roped up man. You know what I'm saying on some attempted what you call it charges man. You know what I'm saying we got a uh, Snoop Dogg conceded an Eminem what you call it man. Um, uh, Lotto explaining why she loves rapping about buns. Kim Kardashian showing her support man. We got um an Atlanta rapper helping the authorities. And Drake again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. This your first time to the channel man. Be sure to hit that like button if feel any part of the content we definitely appreciate that that notification bell's waiting for your tap so go on and give it a tap and that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription man so go on and touch that too hey yo happy friday man that's right today's friday big dog you know what i mean you know you've been working all week man you need yourself a break so thanks for tuning into the channel man we definitely appreciate your time let's get right to it starting off with your boy drake okay this man right here must have dropped his glasses again the Canadian man, right, apparently is somewhere in the French Riviera, and he creepily decided it was a good time to take a picture of a random blonde woman and posted the following. He said, quote, tried to drop this woman a pic of herself because she's a dime. Close quote. <laughs> a dime. Okay. Look, I, I guess I'll be good. I, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'm not going to. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be good. You know what I mean? But he, now he didn't airdrop the pic. But he shows it to all of us, which to me is just as bad as airdrop in the joint, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I think he might have a thing for blondes. And, you know, everybody has uh, their own preferences and stuff like that. I sort of pick, you know, everybody like one man's blonde is another man's nickel. You know what I'm saying? So I, I sort of pick and I was like, yeah, you know, <sighs> Kelly Rowland is a, is, a, is a dime. You know what I'm saying? She's a dime. Um... I guess I look I'm gonna leave that one alone okay I'm not really I wasn't uh, look I wasn't impressed but hey, here's the other thing that really kind of irked me about the, uh, him doing that if that woman is married imagine if you are married and you sitting with your wife and you having a conversation and she's looking down eating in her plate or whatever and Drake decides to take a picture talk about your lady as a diamond let's say you was having an argument with her you know what I'm saying now your lady got Drake on her mind come on Drake don't be doing stuff like that man was that woman married uh, did you check her hand that's one of the first things I always do. I always look at their hands, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, check this out. There's this Instagram page called Gossip of the City, right? And this Instagram page posted a, a statement. And the statement goes like this. This is what the statement says. It goes, quote, a rapper is helping, a rapper is helping the Atlanta Police Department take down everyone because he don't like how Atlanta has turned out. It was supposed to be a place for blacks to thrive, close quote. Why the person decided to say, well, look, why did the person decide, right? That like, they're just figuring that part out now. We have been New Atlanta was supposed to be a place for folks to thrive, man. You know what I'm saying? Us law abiding citizens been trying to tell y'all that for years. You know what I mean? Now, now, I don't know what rapper the page is referring to, but just for the record, all right? Young Thug, Gunna, Wyatt and Lucci are currently locked up uh, without bail on charges ranging from Rico to murder and everything in between. Now, we done told you this before, all right, that the Fulton County DA, Fannie Willis, has said that there are two more high profile arrests that's about to go down in the next 60 days. So we need to see every artist from Atlanta doing good in the community that's right boy you y'all best to get your face cards up man you know what i'm saying because apparently the da is looking for you you know what i'm saying you like select who you think she talk about i think she's talking about you and your boy you know what i'm saying y'all best to get your ish together man you know what i mean hey look if you ain't doing the, here's the thing that kind of irks me man i think this is what irks me when um and it's funny because like if you and your boys get together Right? And y'all like y'all hang out with each other. Y'all might call yourselves by something. You know what I'm saying? As soon as y'all call yourselves by something, these like a, a lot of people will look at y'all and say, You're a gang. You know what I'm saying? The minute you do anything, whether it be smoking together, one of y'all hit a lick, and then y'all join link back up with each other, or automatically folks are gonna call you a gang. If you have a rap group, if you have a rap group, and then you know what y'all might need to do, man. Yeah, y'all. If you in Atlanta, if you in LA, if you across America, if you got a group of dudes that you hang out with, don't call yourself anything. You know what I mean? What's your name? We don't got a name. Because as soon as you call yourself a name, 
you can easily be identified for stuff like Rico. Now, you can have a name amongst you, maybe yourself, but as soon as you start trying to rep your name out there, folks automatically label you as a gang, and when one of y'all does something, it falls back on the gang. I know that's how these Rico charges like are dead. That's how they're roping these folks up with the Rico charges, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, oddly enough, the Ku Klux Klan, like they, what they do, it doesn't get classified as a Rico. I find that to be funny. But, um, uh, yo, y'all best to take note. Okay, two more high profile artists. Um, I need everybody sitting there, you know what I'm saying? I, I need everybody. I, I just had a card pass me by, so I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Uh, y'all better y'all better get y'all face cards up, is all I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay. Uh, now Kim K has shown her support for Gunner for some strange reason by hopping onto Twitter and posting quote, hashtag free gunner, free P. Close quote. Free P. <laughs> what that mean, free P? You know what I'm saying? Free gunner, free P. If you're free gun, free, I, look, I'm going to let you do the joke. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be good. I'm going to let you do the joke. You follow what I'm saying, man? Uh, speaking about free, um, free, uh, free P. Look, listen, Lotto, okay? Big Lotto, all right? I don't want to like her, but I feel like I'm starting to like her. I think I, I, I'm I, like more and more. Ever since she changed the name, I was like, oh, she listened to, she listened to the crowd that didn't like the name Mulatto. She changed the name. I respected that so much. I almost feel like, do I like her? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I tell you what, I do like her big, uh, her big energy song. I do like that. I ain't going even front, man. You know what I mean? When I hear that joint, that's like, I do not turn the station when I hear that song. You know what I'm saying? Um, um. Uh, I mean, the clean version. The dirty version is dirty as heck. But that goes into this whole thing about what Lotto posted. Lotto posted um, a statement, right? The statement goes, truth is, this is her truth now. Truth is, I love rapping about sex. It makes me feel so powerful and liberated and sexy. Close quote. Uh, open it back up. Open, open the quote back up. Okay. She said, but when I do... She goes, you know, it makes me feel so powerful, sexy, liberated, yada, yada, yada. But when I do talk about it, y'all say, that's all I rap about, LOL. Even though I have a million other songs where I don't, close quote. You mean there's other songs where you're not rapping about sex? That's funny, because it seems like the only thing I hear on the radio, or the, whenever I hear songs, it seems like the, the only promotion a lot of y'all women tend to get seems to be about when you are talking about sex and i find that to be very very interesting it's almost as if someone is trying to brainwash us into only looking at you as some kind of a sexual object think about it okay a lot of these artists we freestyling over here at this point a lot of these artists they all you know all rap artists must wear chains right so your boy celeb looks at that and says that's part of the costume. If you're gonna be a rapper, you gotta have a chain. If you don't have a chain, what the hell kind of rapper is you, okay? That's the way the culture and the industry is trying to push it, all right? Every rapper has that chain, that basic behind costume chain, okay? Every rapper might have to, you know what I'm saying, issue a threat or two about ending your life. It's part of the costume, okay? I say, when the women are twerking, the equivalent to twerking butts is twerking your guns. You're either twerking a butt, or you're twerking the gun. Why? Because the industry knows that is what makes us big money. If you ain't talking about sex, you ain't gonna make no money, sis. So get out there and shake that rear. You know what I'm saying? And shake it as hard as you can. The harder you shake, the more money we might give you. You know what I'm saying? It's like being at a, it's like, it's like a strip club. I guess the country is a whole strip club. The whole industry is just a big strip club and the harder you, you know what I'm saying, slide around that pole, the more money we might, uh, the bigger bag you're gonna get. You follow what I'm saying, man? I mean, look, this is what it is, and you know, like, like that's what it is. She goes, she loves rapping about it because it makes her feel powerful, liberated, and sexy. I had to pull my people aside. I was like, yo, let me ask you this. You know what I'm saying? I asked both of the ladies. I was like, yo, let me ask you this, okay? You like both of the ladies? Yes, both of the ladies. I said, ladies, you know what I mean? I'm like, why is it that when these women are rapping about sex. It makes them feel powerful, liberated, and sexy. One of the women said, yo, men have been rapping about the same thing and what they what they want to do to us all the time. So I think women are trying to take it back. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So they're trying to take it back by, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I know I want to be a whore. 
That's what it is. Well, hey, look, men can be whores too. Don't get all offended. You know what I'm saying? If you were sleeping around mad women, you a whore, fam. Okay, fellas and women, if y'all sleeping around mad men, yes, that's right, you a whore too. You know what I'm saying? Now, a man might be like, yo, I don't care. But a woman might not take that so kindly. But it is what it is. You see what I'm saying? Just if a man murders and a woman, they ain't both murderers, man. You know what I'm saying? If a man steals and a woman steals, ain't both of them thieves? So if the man is having promiscuous sex and a woman is having promiscuous sex, both of y'all whores. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. Just own it. Just take it. You know what I'm saying? There was a time, there was a time when your boy Celeb was a whore. And I loved it. You know what I mean? Like, and if you feel the same way, then you feel the same way. Now, if you're like, yo, you know what? Those are, you know, those are when I was young and that was the era of my ways and I want to change. Well, that's a different thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But you can't act like a whore and be, yo, die. Look, hey, look, I killed a couple of people, but don't call me no murderer. No, you a murderer, bro. Sis. Um, check this out. Is it shout out time? What am I, oh, my Lord. It's, my bad. That's what happens when I'm on, on when, I don't got a, when I don't got a script, I run off at the jibs. Let's do my shout outs real quick. Uh, I, look, we probably done lost a, a bunch of ladies up. They probably tuned out because they was offended that you know they've been labeled as whores. But I didn't label you as a whore. Actions label you as a whore. I did not label you as a murderer. Actions label you as a murderer. You see what I'm saying, man? If that's what you do, Lonsdale Joseph, my man Lonsdale Joseph. Hey, look, I was on Jamaica Ave looking for you, fam. Cause I, you know, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, man, I got the courage up. I don't care how big this dude is. I'm on the Ave. Where you at? I sent the tag, I sent it in the thing, in the comments. Lonsdale, I couldn't find you. And, and don't go looking for me now, I ain't there no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lonsdale said, yo, instead of going to Sesame Street, what parents need to do is take the kids to historical black museums and places that would teach in a constructive way, like Queens, New York. Do you know how many life-changing experiences I learned just chilling on Jamaica Avenue? A lot. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's real talk right there, man. You know what I'm saying? And I love the fact that the man said it. It's true. It's 100% true, man. You know what? If Sesame Street is Sesame Street... No, no, it ain't Sesame Street because they don't really love us like that. If, if Sesame Street is avoiding y'all black people, man, and hating on y'all, man, then then we don't, need to, like, we don't need to back them. You know what I'm saying? They treating us like we Oscar the Grouch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what? We don't... We don't we don't need to rock with that, man. Let's do what Lonsdale said, man. And take our kids to, you know what I'm saying, museums and stuff like that. Break it. Because that stuff is interesting, man. I love going to that um, aquarium, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that Atlanta aquarium. I love that joint. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, hey, yo, Mr. K came through and said, yo, celeb. If you misread T.I.'s quote wrong, you probably read it right. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's a good one. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, yeah, we appreciate that, man. Red Grinch came through and said, yo. If God invented, if, if, look, he said, if God invented all, then he invented evil. And if he invented evil, then why punish evil? If we were created perfect and in his image, then how can mistakes be made or evil interfere? I said, that's an excellent question, Red Grinch. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that, man. Shout out to you, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Because well, yo, when you ask good questions, that show, that's a sign of intelligence. You know what I mean? And I love smart people, man. Shout out to Red Grinch for that. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, ch check this out, man, real quick. Okay? Evil, it was created indirectly. You know what I'm saying? When God created free will, intelligent creatures can take that free will and choose to be unlike God, which is evil. You follow what I'm saying, man? Check this out. Evil is the abuse of free will. As a result, evil is indirectly created. So technically, it could be said that the most high created evil. Matter of fact, I think it's in Isaiah 45. Is it? Or, or Isaiah 44? One of those chapters. Is, he says, I, I, what is it? I make good and create evil or something like that. We know that evil is created indirectly because of the creation of free will. You know what I'm saying? With free will is the possibility of evil through the abnormal use or abuse of free will. Am I making sense, man? Because sometimes I be winging it. You know what I mean? Check this out. Just because you made perfect don't mean that you can't turn evil. You know what I mean? We, we were made perfect and we freely chose in Adam to be imperfect. If you was Adam, you'd have did the same thing because you made of the same stuff. You follow what I'm saying, man? Look, free will is necessary, though. We needed that free will. You know why? Because um, true love, which is the greatest good, can only be had with free will. You follow what I'm saying, man? I mean, you got love for your boys, you got love for your moms, you got love for your kids, love for your see, love for your lady, you know what I mean? Love for your mans, right? Or your man, your man, right? Cause you should have one, okay? 
Uh, if you got love for folks, man, that's the greatest good in society. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you can't have real love without free will. So God is like, yo, I don't want no robots. I don't want no, you know what I'm saying? I don't need a brick to serve me, man. I'm going to give you free will. You can choose to rock. You can choose freely to rock with me or not. You don't want to choose to rock with me, man. Then I'm going to give you your will. See, this whole free will thing. It's going to, um, uh, yeah, we're going to keep it moving, but we, you know, we like to share knowledge. Um, this whole free will thing is, is largely, hey, yo, you can truly, you can freely choose to rock with me or not. You know what I'm saying? But you will be locked in the decision you made. All right? Control, alt, delete. You know what I'm saying? So you was 100% right in what you said. Um, this little period of free will, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's going to determine what you are locked in. At the very, very end. Let's get right back to it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you like, yo, I ain't tuned in for all of this knowledge. My bad. My bad. I, I ain't mean to make you a little bit smarter than you was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? People get mad at me for that. Anyway, check this out. Earlier in the month, I was at a mansion, right? The mansion was the Glen Cove Mansion, okay? There was a string of pa uh, parties there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You was like, oh, shoot. Celeb, you was at the party? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I was in the area. I was there. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Now, check this out. Apparently, look, I, I got I got excellent timing, okay? Because as soon as I left the joint, apparently the joint got shot up. You know what I mean? I had nothing to do with it. I mean, did I say shot up? I mean, it got lit up with fireworks, if you know what I mean. Um, Good timing, once again, I credit that. Uh, shout out to the most high. Roddy Rebel's brother, Fetty Luciano, hit up the mansion with hot metal during the party and three people were struck. And you, and you know how it is in these kinds of parties, man. You know what I'm saying? I bet you the ladies were hit with the metal. Because y'all always get hit with hot metal starts flying. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, matter of fact, I got to check out the victims. I, whatever. I ain't going to even check out the victims. I'm almost positive a lady's going to probably be involved in having gotten hit. Security guard, a security guard tried to break up a fight during a pool party. Why the, why the hell are you fighting at a pool party? There's, there's people of the opposite sex there. People look good. And you're best idea is to fight you're stupid and my bad Be, uh break up a fight at the pool party at about 5 p.m okay on july 10th luciano started shooting and three people were struck including the security guard none of the injuries were life-threatening folks are just getting grazed okay so not only do we but we got also got bad aim um and thankfully thankfully so the mayor of Glen Cove stated, quote, it's a bit of a shock, yeah. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. This is just a beautiful venue. It's used for high school reunions, weddings, fundraisers for events, and things like this don't happen here, close quote. Hey, look, I was at the mansion. I was not impressed. I'm just throwing that out there. I was not impressed. But you know, that's what it is. Like, mansions ain't like, you think mansion is impressive. Mansions ain't impressive. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I wasn't really blown away by this one here. Okay? Um... Anyway, I, I, look, I ain't going down him, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know. But check this out, man. Fetty Luciano, he turned himself in after being charged with attempted murder and weapons charges. I'm over here like, hey, look, you know how it is, man. If you hit somebody in the face, they probably might want to kill you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think twice even before you throw the hands, man. You know what I mean? Before you, like, you could throw hands, but things ain't like, like they used to be. Oh, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no coward. I'll throw hands. A lot of times, here's how it play out. When you got better hands... The, the dude break out a gun. And I completely understand. Because, you know what I'm saying? If I get knocked out, I might want to kill you too. You know what I mean? Especially if it was recorded. And it's going to be for all of eternity. So therefore, I'm like, yo, let me just stay out of trouble altogether. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like catching a body and all this other stuff. And then you got to wake up early when you in prison. And you know what I'm saying? Like, And then somebody's telling you when to eat. And I don't want to be told. I don't want to be told what to do. I don't want to be told what to do. And finally... Um, yo, check this out. We did a story a while back about Snoop's thoughts on anime, 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 what? Eminem, okay? And the stands lost it, okay? They was in the comment section something serious. Snoop didn't have M on his top 10 list. And folks didn't seem to understand that that's what it is. It's one's own top 10 list. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with you. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? Like, my top 10 list is my list. If I don't have Eminem on it, what the cuff does that got to do with you? Nothing. My bad. Um, uh, Because, you know, y'all got screen. So, uh, Snoop recently dropped a track with Eminem called uh, From the D to the LBC. You know what I mean? And concerning M's skills, Snoop said to follow him and take a listen. Yeah, but you killed it, though, bro. You challenged me, Marshall. You put me back in my karate school days where I used to be a young MC and, you know... 
love the challenge of having to try a new style and new cadence and you know what I'm saying? The rap game is supposed to be that it's supposed to be challenging, right? It's supposed to make you dig in your bag. Mm-hmm. Because I've heard you on other songs with other rappers and you tend to uh, <clears throat> show out. So I wanted to make sure that I was going to rap. Yeah, you showed you. out. <laughs> you definitely showed <laughs> out. Just wanted to represent with you one time. Hopefully that joint played because lately, you know what I'm saying, the videos, you know, it ain't been playing. But uh, my man said, yo, you challenged me, Marshall. You put me back in my karate school days Why I used to be a young MC. And, you know, uh, love the challenge of having to try new styles and new cadences. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Um, the rap game is supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to make you dig in your bag. Because I heard you on the other songs that other rappers and you tend to show out. So I wanted to make sure I was going to represent. And Eminem responded by saying to Snoop, uh-uh. You showed out. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful stuff right here, man. Yeah, I love seeing love in the culture, man. Then, I, then we tell you, man, love is the greatest good, man. You follow what I'm saying, man? And, and without love, man, culture, society, it sucks. And you know what I'm saying is true because you know you love it most when you get love. So don't act like, like you, you know what I'm saying, you, you opposed to love and all this other stuff. You know you love love, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about being soft, man. Cause love ain't soft, man. You, you should know that because you stand under a waterfall, man. And it's love that made that. You know what I'm saying? You like love made a waterfall. What kind of? Sp I like I was saying, cause God and the creation. You know what I mean? Like that's the way I be thinking. You know what I mean? I be thinking like you know what I'm saying the universe is a rugged place, man. You know what I mean? And God is love. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. You don't have to look. Yo, hey, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay? Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.